cultures that are heavily influenced by demonic religious thought, such as Hindus in India, embrace vegetarianism. Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. A big shout out to our viewer Priscilla. Thank you for letting me know about this video. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to respond to this video. Well, it's from a YouTube creator I'd never heard of before, Pastor Vlad. He has like one and a half million followers. He's got some really popular videos, like videos about how Taylor Swift casts spells on her audience. This demonic lie is as old as the Garden of Eden. The Bible is very clear. Leviticus 19.26. You must not eat anything with blood in it. All right, Handel, sounds like Leviticus had it figured out. Don't eat anything with blood in it. Sounds like a, a proclamation to eat plants, right? Well, unfortunately, it's far from it in this video. As you'll see here, Pastor Vlad basically covers the entire hit parade of misinformation, non-evidence-based, anti-vegan nonsense that I've been covering since I started our channel over 10 years ago. So I'm gonna cover those bits as quickly as I can because I really want to get into his bit about how veganism is involved with demonic forces and stuff like that. And I want to make it clear from the outset, I have nothing against um, um, Vladimir here. I have nothing against Christianity or any religion. Anyone who watches our channel and live stream knows I'm as about as inclusive as it gets. I'm merely responding to the misinformation and I would have the same response no matter what religious background the person in question is coming from. Anyway, let's jump right in. Veganism is a little bit further. It's more strict. It excludes all animal products including meat, fish, dairy, eggs, and often honey. So let's stay right up front what veganism is and is not because Pastor Vlad is confusing veganism with a diet. Veganism is not a diet. There is such a thing as a vegan diet, but veganism is a stance against animal cruelty and exploitation. Indeed, people in his comments basically let him know, yeah, being vegan isn't a diet. It's a way of eating without animal abuse. And the top comment I saw as of like an hour ago, switching to a vegan diet saved my life physically, reversed my heart disease. There are many reasons why people become vegans or vegetarians. Usually the number one reason is for health reasons. No, again, that's not what veganism is. It's not a diet. It's not about your health. It's not about you. It's not about us. It's about the animals. Again, it's a stance against animal cruelty and exploitation. Veganism does have nutritional concerns, deficiencies in protein, iron. That sure sounds like that. Pastor Vlad has not looked into what the scientific consensus is regarding the nutritional adequacy of eating just plants. This is not a matter of speculation or opinion. There's a scientific consensus and health organizations from around the world have concluded that a well-planned, sensible vegan diet is nutritionally adequate for all people. If you're becoming a vegan to help the environment, you're technically not helping the environment. Once again, he's making an empirical claim, meaning this is something that we can actually look up. It's not a matter of opinion or speculation. And the United Nations has done lots of research into the effects of different types of diets and their effect on greenhouse gas emissions. So we know for a fact that vegan diets are the number one most climate friendly diet according to United Nations research. Number two, vegetarian. I understand, you know, I, I love animals and I have a dog. So yes, I've heard this kind of thing many times. So let's see what kind of mental gymnastics Pastor Vlad needs to use to justify the exploitation and killing of some kinds of animals. Well, other kinds of animals, they're meant to be loved and cared for. This idea that if I become a vegan, you know, I'm not going to kill any animals. Note this idea of perfection and zero harm is not an idea of veganism. Again, it's a stance against animal cruelty and exploitation, not becoming some kind of perfect being. Behind every vegan hot dog, there are dozens of fuzzy mice, turtles, snakes, and bugs that were destroyed by tractors and farm equipment. No matter how many times I debunk the combine harvester argument, it keeps staying alive. And so you must understand that veganism actually probably kills more animals, not less. Veganism probably kills more animals, like you didn't look at any data or anything like that. Well, I have some for you. Let's have a look. This paper estimated through mathematical models and data from, say, the United States Department of Agriculture and other resources like that, the number of animals killed to produce 1 million calories in eight food categories. And they took into account the numbers of animals killed in slaughter and in the harvest of the foods in question. And as we see here, if you truly want to kill the fewest amount of animals, 
animals, as Pastor Vlad seems to claim he's doing, or wants to do at least, you would have no choice other than to eat a vegan diet. Because you see, it's not even close. Look at the bottom of the graphs here. Vegetables, fruits and grains. I do want to remind you that animals are not vegetarian. Well, he is right. Animals can't be vegans or vegetarians. They're not capable of moral behavior or make moral decisions as we are capable of. But he's talking about diet as he confuses the words vegan and vegetarian with diet the whole time. Anyway, there are animals that eat an exclusive plant diet, such as the mighty elephant and rhinos. There's a natural order of life. Lions kill zebras, wolves kill deer. So we should follow that because some animals in the wild need to hunt other animals in order to survive. That humans are somehow justified in their killing of animals even though it's completely unnecessary. Unlike animals, Vlad and myself both live in the civilized world, United States, and we all have access to supermarkets and grocery stores and fast food, and you can buy plant food to eat 24-7. My point being that unlike animals living, say, in the African savanna, where they're just trying to survive to get to the next day and hunt and not get hunted, we don't have that lifestyle. So using that example as your justification for how it's completely morally fine to harm animals, exploit animals, needlessly because we don't need to eat them, it makes no philosophical sense. In fact, that's a logical fallacy known as the faulty comparison fallacy. Now let's move to the second thing where veganism can lead to a disorder or it could be a sign of disorder. All right, so I really want to get to the demonic stuff, but I'll, I'll just quickly show you his bit here about how he seems to think veganism is somehow orthorexia. Maybe I'll cover that in my next video. There's this thing called psychology of compulsive good eating. There's a name for this psychological disorder. It's called orthorexia nervosa. Yeah, let me know down below if you want me to cover this more next week, but his whole premise is based on the faulty assumption you heard there that veganism is based on good, healthy eating or something like that. But no, again, that's not what veganism is. It's a stance against animal cruelty and exploitation. In fact, it's entirely possible, and your your free choice if you want to as a vegan, to eat a very unhealthy junk food vegan diet. Veganism is not the same as health or good health or something like that. Anyway, let's move on now. Now we can finally get to the demon stuff. Number three is it can become a demonic cult. And in fact, I do believe there is a demonic component to that. I am not saying every vegan is demonized. Whew, well, that's a relief. And um, let's find out if I'm one of the good ones. Monica writes in Medium, the vegan brigade is a toxic movement that functions much like a cult. Oh, really? Well, if Monica on Medium wrote that, it must be true, right? You read one article on Medium and you can generalize about all vegans in such a negative way. I mean, there's articles like, say, this one here on Medium by Lilith. And from reading this, should I generalize like you did that all Christians are gaslighters? No, of course not. You shouldn't base your opinion on one misinformed article on Medium. I mean, I call Monica's article misinformed because I read through her article and she says some outrageous stuff like nutritionists in the UK and the United States are afraid to speak out about veganism being unhealthy for fear of vegan retaliation and Monica just flat out asserts that vegan diets are nutritionally inadequate despite again this general scientific consensus that is well known about the nutritional adequacy of well-planned vegan diets but no Monica disagrees because of some anecdotal story about her mom's friend a toxic movement that functions much like a cult the outside world, the non-vegans, are bad and need to be saved. When a pastor uses the word saved, it has certain kind of Christian connotations, and there's no concept like that in veganism. Again, don't believe me, let's look at the long-standing definition of veganism that goes back to the 1940s. It says nothing about saving people or that non-vegans are bad. Again, it's a stance against animal cruelty and exploitation. She says the recruitment tactics of vegans are militant vegans function the same way as a cult. They often love bomb victims. I mean, the stuff for Monica that Vlad's repeating here is just a bunch of anti-vegan nonsense. Like, militant vegans? I mean, is, that, is she talking about people like me who use social media or face-to-face -face in person and share in a peaceful, rational way information about veganism with non-vegans and these people are victims? I mean, what? <laughs> But I want to give credit to Monica for getting at least one thing right, and that's veganism is indeed a cult.
Now the Bible does talk about that deceiving spirits and doctrine of demons in the last days will tell people not to eat certain things. You're not going to go there, Vlad, that deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons are what's behind this vegan message. Now, 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 says this, Now the Spirit expressly says that in the last days or in the latter days, some will depart from faith, giving heed to the deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. It's important. Last days, the Holy Spirit says people will depart from faith. So that's, that's the foundation of everything. Then there will be deceiving spirits and then there will be doctrines of demons. Now, what we see is in verse 3 of that chapter, Paul begins to tell us some of these doctrines that these demons will be pushing on people in the last days. They will be forbidding to marry. Well, already that's not veganism. There's nothing in the definition of veganism or the practice of veganism that forbids people to marry. You can get married. I'm married. They will command to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. Ouch. So forced vegetarianism and veganism is the mark of the last days. There's so much to unpack there that's wrong. I don't even know where to start. I mean, first of all, no one is forcing veganism on anyone. Again, it's a personal belief. It's a personal stance against animal cruelty and exploitation. There's no like vegan cult of the world movement forcing veganism on anyone or everyone. I mean, this is just complete make-believe nonsense. And veganism isn't the only diet that has some restrictions. Let's say like carnivore removes everything off the plate except for one thing. And how come that's not the doctrine of demons. Now, how does this look like? Veganism is the ultimate healthy diet. Again, you're making stuff up. That's not what veganism is, even though it can be really healthy. You become a superior quality of a person if you abstain from meat. Again, where are you getting this stuff? I've been vegan for 13 years and I met plenty of vegan a-holes and narcissists and sociopaths. Veganism is necessary for spiritual advancement. Bro, you just really need to back off on these wacky, zany fantasies of what you think vegans are like. No, veganism has nothing to do with that. You can be vegan and super non-spiritual and you can be super non-vegan and be super spiritual. Veganism that will begin to embrace worship of nature. Like a vegan demon, Instagram says, in plants we trust. Really? You're making all these inferences based upon finding the homepage of a vegan catering company? You're thinking they're demonic literally because of their name? I mean, do you think like slutty vegan sleeps around, fornicates with all these guys because of her name on Instagram? And no, veganism is not some kind of worship of nature. You have that confused with something else like paganism. Again, veganism is a stance against animal cruelty and exploitation. Veganism will begin to devalue human life to that of animals, and animals become on an equal stature with humans. I mean, where, are getting, where are you getting this stuff from? Just because we believe that animals should have certain rights doesn't mean they have equal rights. I don't see any vegans advocating that animals should be able to vote and start businesses and get married and stuff like that. Vegetarianism has ancient roots in both philosophy and religion like Hinduism and Buddhism who have been promoting vegetarian diets. Well, let me tell you, as someone who knows a little bit about Buddhism, that Buddhism does not promote veganism or vegetarianism. It's a personal choice. I mean, you can be a Buddhist, vegan, it's totally cool. And I wish more Buddhists were vegan because I believe the idea that Buddhism has of having compassion for all sentient beings should pretty much make all Buddhists be vegan, but that's simply not the case. Hinduism? Buddhism and certain New Age religions all embrace vegetarianism. Embrace? Well, yes, they're tolerant and accepting, inclusive of vegans and vegetarians, which is awesome, but they're not forcing it on anyone. But are you saying that these religions' acceptance and tolerance of vegans and vegetarians is somehow bad? Cultures that are heavily influenced by demonic religious thought, such as Hindus in India, embrace vegetarianism. Oh, so we get to the heart of the matter now. Now we really see who's militant. Now we see who's really toxic. So you're saying people like me who have a different religion of, from yours, we are possessed by demonic thought? I mean, are you serious? I mean, this is so clear-cut toxic prejudice, bigotry, hating on others, saying that we're possessed by demons because we have a different religious belief system from yours. But no, we're the militant and toxic people. Yeah, it makes zero sense 
intense pastor. And I know not all Christians think in these toxic, bigoted ways like Pastor Vlad does here. I know firsthand because so many of you guys are my friends and follow us on social media. In fact, I communicate with a whole bunch of you guys on my Friday live streams who see no problem with being both vegan and Christian. And I, I invite any of Pastor Vlad's people or viewers or followers to come to my Friday live streams, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and come in and chat with us. Me, who I'm not a, a Christian, but we have many Christians in the live stream there regularly, weekly. And you'll see, it's, it's nothing like what Pastor Vlad is preaching here. This He's preaching a, a, a message of intolerance and bigotry, and it's nothing like that. In fact, I'll go out on a limb and just say, in my personal opinion, he's an embarrassment to the faith. I know Christianity is full of love and embracing and intolerant of others and what he's preaching here is just not what I how I understand it and I'm just really bummed that I had to end on this sour note but anyway um, please leave your questions and comments down below let me know what thought about this should I be as troubled and disturbed by what I just heard there I feel it I feel the the hate and the negativity and the intolerance coming from there so I if I seem a little bummed that's what's going on so let me know how you guys think about this am I overreacting or am I spot on here so uh, leave your comments hit like share and come to the Friday live streams. I'll see you then. And remember, doesn't suck being vegan and we're not a cult, despite what I'm saying here.